So I got a question for you guys. What is one quality that both Hitler and Gandhi share? It's two words long, transcendent goals. But while one person's goals came from the devil, the other person's came from God. One person existed to increase the chaos and suffering of the world. The other lived to create order and love. There are two directions you can go, towards order or towards chaos. So what is the meaning of your life? What is its ultimate aim or end? Why do you get up in the morning? The reason for your life doesn't have to be some huge thing. It could be to raise wonderful children, to love your spouse, or perhaps even save the world. Goals exist to establish order in consciousness. They have intentionality behind them. They focus attention away from your little ego and towards the object of your desire. Most people follow goals on established life paths. They follow the ideas and habits that have been carved out by our ancestors. Think about the billions of people who follow and imitate Jesus and the Buddha. Then again, think about all of the people who model their behavior on less worthy idols. What this means is that culture tends to choose your goals for you. This is especially true if you do not have a spiritual center, a center that exists beyond the scripts and conditions of the world around you. Most people chase security through money, power, and fame. This is in itself not a bad thing, but it becomes bad when a culture becomes destructive and evil. Most Germans in Nazi Germany were not bad people. They simply aligned their values and goals with the evil men in power. Such goals are inauthentic. They are not freely chosen, but forced upon the individual. So the purpose of this video is to help you choose authentic goals built on the highest values of the human race, what I call transcendent goals. Such goals, like the aspiration for utopia, do not exhaust themselves because they can never be achieved. A higher life purpose, such as that of Mother Teresa, unites the emotions, thoughts, and behavior of the individuals towards universal values of humanity. If you've ever seen a photo of Mother Teresa, she is almost always smiling. She brims with happiness. This is the highest type of goal, the goal of serving others and creating love and happiness in the universe. So I challenge you to create the highest type of life theme for yourself. Don't simply accept the ideas of the culture floating around you. Those ideas are inferior and will not give you true satisfaction. Instead, you should discover, create, and explore what really matters to you. If you go deep enough, you'll be able to fashion a life purpose for yourself and create values that merge you into the universal flow of life. So that's all I have to say. Have a great day, guys. Hi, guys. If you're new here, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a great day.